What's up, Jesus lovers, and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. We are looking today at being broken or crushed. I'm Pastor Jacob Cerns, and I do this every single day. We're going through the life of Jesus Christ. We're applying these stories directly to our lives today so we can learn real life lessons for how we can live our lives on a day-to-day -day basis based upon the life of Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 20. Jesus refers to himself as the cornerstone which the builders rejected. And he says that cornerstone, whoever falls upon that cornerstone will be broken, but whoever that cornerstone falls upon will be crushed and even ground into powder. Now when I was in college, when I was in, go, attending university, I uh, played football, flag football, intramural football, and I was a quarterback. And I still love to play quarterback. And when I was throwing one of the passes, I released the ball from my hand, and as I released it, the, guys, uh, the guy was jumping up to try to block the pass, and his hand smack collided with my throwing hand just after I released the ball, and it broke my finger, and you can kind of see my finger to this day. It closes all the way, but I can't straighten it all the way unless I assist it with another finger. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. But that's what happened to me. I broke my finger playing, and it was a very painful, painful thing. But I remember thinking to myself, man, a broken finger is a bad thing. But of all the injuries that I could get playing football from broken leg, broken ankle, um, sprained knee, all kinds of crazy things, horrible things that could happen to me, concussion even, all I got was a broken finger. And that was the worst injury I got playing football. So I think about this and, uh, you know, the story that Jesus gives here with the, uh, the cornerstone, we really, everyone has really these same two options. You can either be broken by falling on the cornerstone, or you can be ground to powder by <laughs> rejecting the cornerstone and having it fall on top of you. I think it's pretty obvious which injury we would like to have. And the fact that there's an injury involved at all tells us something about being a Christian. It tells us that when you give your life to Jesus, it's not just going to be a cakewalk. There will be challenges. There will be obstacles. There will be pain involved. I felt pain when I broke this finger. But just because there's pain, just because there's obstacles, it doesn't mean we have to give up. It means that we can give ourselves fully there knowing that we are in the end going to be saved. Because what happens to those who do not fall on this stone? Well, the Bible tells us that they are crushed and ground into powder. They're destroyed as a result of it. So we really have those two options. We can either, either give ourselves to Jesus and experience being broken and being hurt a little bit, or we can try to go it on our own and end up being crushed and destroyed. I think the choice is pretty obvious, guys. I know which, which choice I wanna make. If you wanna choose Jesus, put that down in the comments. Say, I choose to fall on the cornerstone and be broken. If that's too much to write, just put, I choose Jesus. We want to choose Jesus and fall on him, even if it means some pain, because in the end, the pain is going to be his pain. Jesus' pain is going to be our gain. God bless you guys. Push that thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe here. Watch another video here. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord. I will see you next time.